I was just clicking randomly because it was right between zero and half. Um, Sony, uh, Z7 M2, Mark IIs. Um, thank you for stopping by. Patreon link in the description, wallpaper in the description. I'll talk to you later. But seriously, like, I reviewed the, the, the original Z7s, and I knew exactly what they were when they came out of the box. They were a relaxed set with, like, luscious bass and wide soundstage, and they were beautifully made. And these are beautifully fucking made. The Sony logo is, is legit metal. This is metal. They've improved all of this build quality over the original. The blacked out everything, the way this just fits, how this is smooth, these these ports that are not really ports because they're closed back. But it's just, oh. And then they still have the same wire system where it's like amazing. Like submarine levels of like we need to plug this in and then screw this aluminum screw in to thread it on so this can't possibly come out, even in an attack submarine. And the wire's got that that same vacuum cleaner from the 70s sort of like striping down it and it's nice it doesn't have any kinks it's perfectly straight well you could have kinks and not be straight i'm not getting into sexuality on a z review god anyway i'm not using this dock cable it also comes with two cables i'll point out that so hold on a headphone we'll talk about you in a fuck a minute um oh it's a little less pomp and circumstance to this case from what i remember and then you pop this open and you can see there's a 4.4 millimeter balanced cable that it comes with. And since I don't have anything right now that outputs 4.4 millimeter balanced, I ain't using that. Instead, I've got it going to a set of uh, Ursine audio cables going into that uh, Quest Labs. Can you just call it the Quest Lab? It's Italian, Quest Lab. Quest Lab. Uh, balanced, and if it wasn't on that, it was on this, and if it wasn't on that, it was on this, and it was on this, and then that. And I'm just playing with it, and I'm, I'm, they're very pretty. Aren't they very pretty? Why don't you check out the price link in the description? Because I've never, well, no, that's not true. This has happened once before, where I get a headphone, and you see the size of the driver in there? I'm just going to keep just not talking about it. I don't know what these are trying to do. I don't hate... I have all the headphones I've got here, and I've got quite a fucking lot. I've I've got the cons, I've got Hyper X Cloud Alphas, I got the uh, Cooler Master MH752s, I got the Civica 002s, 004s, I got the Dakoni Blues, I got the Fostex TH909s. I've got every other one. W why don't I want to listen to these? They they you see the cost? Did you go to the click the link and see the cost? Did you see the cost? How much these fucking cost? Why? Why are these the only headphone of all the headphones that I have here that I'm just, I just refuse to sit down and listen to? I gave them a little bit of break in, probably 25 hours, because everyone's like, Sony needs break in like crazy. And 25 hours is what you get. But maybe they need 100. Maybe they need 200. Maybe they need 500. Maybe your grandchildren need to be dead. And your great grandchildren, while on their deathbeds, could listen to these when they're broken in properly. Um,. That still bothers me that the wires, and I know it's not the stock wires, but it won't matter because they'll just hit regardless because of the way they do this. With, so when they're open, those are fucking fine, but when you close them, which is what you're going to have, they're not in a speaker stand, they just sort of bash. I feel like that's bad news bears to have them touch. Look how nicely, look how nice. It's the numbered, you can see what it, I, I'm skirting the situation. Yeah, I know I'm skirting the how the fuck do they sound, see us? Because I'm still learning the English language to describe it. So, okay, here we go. Let's put on the Sony Z7s. I've been just randoming my playlist before this. I was getting very specific songs that I know for headphone testing, and now I'm just like, please, anything, give me something. Phil Collins in the air tonight, right? The best way I can describe what's wrong with these Sonys because it is a wrong, it is like I don't want to listen to these so something's wrong, is they've done soundstage wrong? Whereas usually you listen to, again, here's number 174 with this new people who have never been to Z reviews. Hi, new people. 
When you put a headphone on a head, is that too wide? That's nah, close to too wide. I'll break them under it. So here's a head. Imaging is, of course, the accuracy here, and soundstage should sound out here. So if there's low soundstage, and it sounds like just this side's playing and just this side's playing, and you're done. But you have wide soundstage like uh, Focal Elex or the 909s, and you amp them properly, you sort of step that back and you get this, ooh, ooh, it's big. It's like speakers. It's like listening out there. And usually when you have an exceptionally incredible wide soundstage, sounds that are further away sound quieter because, you know, they're just, they're so far away. They're so far away. Somehow, Sony has managed to make a set of headphones that don't have exceptionally wide soundstage at all, like at all, yet can still make every sound that would be coming from soundstage sound quiet. And it bothers the fuck out of me. Like, like legitimately. I put these on my head. I hit next track randomly. That's a terrible track. Bass line comes in, you get that. The only thing this headphone does to my liking, that I understand, is when a bass line comes in, you feel good. It's nice, it's liquid, it's buttery. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna make my own audio file terms up. It has a very buttery low end kick, as opposed to a very margarine. It feels natural, as opposed to in unnatural. High in omega fatty acids, this bass line. But that's, I like nothing else about them. And this is a fucking bad review for these fucking Sonys. And everyone's like, you gotta do the Sonys. And I was like, how much breaking do they need? I, wanna, I wanted to like them. I wanted them to just be Sonys, just keep being the Sonys. But here's the thing, they have almost no soundstage. Nothing gets really wide. And then you have to deal with it. And it's, it's not act, dact, yeah. It's not amp dependent like those are. It's song dependent, very track dependent, where I'll listen to one track and I'll be like, okay, this is acceptable and I understand what is happening. Then I'll put on another track and it's usually a track that I know really well and I'll go, what the fuck is happening? These are the second coming of the Nighthawks, the Audio Quest Nighthawks. And I convinced a couple of people to get Nighthawks and a couple of them are like, wow, you are right. This is completely different from what I was expecting a headphone to sound like. And this, to me, is completely different from what I'm expecting for this headphone to sound like. Because it's a closed back Sony, this should be easy. This should be warm, luscious bass, and good detail, and the highs, and then sound stage for days, and the imaging is okay, and it should, that's easy, it's easy. Sonys are an easy review. So why the fuck do I put these on and not know what to say about them? It sounds like, this, it sounds like everything is too quiet. And then all of a sudden, one or two sounds will be as loud as you expect them to be. And you're like, oh shit. But then it's go quiet again. And then you turn the volume up. And all of a sudden it changes how they sound when you turn the volume up. So now you get the volume up and you're getting those same sounds very in your fucking face. And you're like, ah, it's too much, lower it. But then they're too far away. It's, it's an enigma wrapped in an egg roll, deep fried with a side of mac and cheese. Now I'm hungry. Fuck. Follow me on the Z Cooks cooking channel. Linked in the description. I'm listening to like, like, this is, this is like church, uh, choir, far distant quiet and it's playing and I'm listening to it and I'm going to turn it up a little bit and there, there's nothing happening left and right. It's all front and back and just right near me. And that is not right. Where's the bigness of the room? Where's the where's the grandeur that I'm supposed to be experiencing with this track? Frankie goes to Hollywood, relax. That's what I want to hear. This sounds acceptable. I can live with this. A little bit, see, it's a little bit shouty though. It's a little bit shouty, but I want to turn it down. Let's turn it down. And now it sounds like some sounds in this tra track are normal and some like the vocals just fall away. They're like a good four decibels lower than they should be. How are you doing that, Sonny? How do you make that go? 
do I have a bad pair? I mean, I know it's not wired out of phase because I use the stock cables and it's the same fucking thing. The only reason I'm using balance is because it gives me a little touch more in what I would call sound stage. Sound stage. It comes with a balance cable. I just don't have a 4.4. This, this qualifies. These are the fucking, these are an enigma, man. Man, you fucking get me, man. I don't even know. I've had so many good headphones come through here. Close back good headphones that just like EL8Cs, are they still selling those? Please, please. Those, those double lot twos are $89. I take those over these. These just hurt my brain. They hurt my brain to try to compensate to what the fuck's happening. And I, I'm, I don't need another set of Nighthawks in my life, like as far as like knowing what they are. So why? Please, maybe I got a defective pair. If you have a set of these and you've heard them, in the comments, go, go nuts. See, it's very soft. It's like, it's like overly soft. It's like everything's way down. This EQ has been cranked to zero. So let's turn it up. No, no, it doesn't, it just doesn't, doesn't sound, it sounds, it sounds like there's too much, but there's no real detail, there's no finesse to the detail. ACDC, back in business. We got, we got right, we got left, we got some bass. And it's too shouty, lower it. And now everything just sounds like it's, oh. I don't understand. It's it's kind of like if you took an EQ, like a like a sixteen band EQ, and just every other frequency you let them. It's fine down. This one's fine down. This one's fine down. I've done that because I was an idiot kid and had Winamp. I was like, oh, what if I do with this? What does it sound like? It sounds like Sony Z7 Mark IIs. I don't like these. I don't like the way they sound. And I don't understand why. They should just. Be normal. Be normal. I'm all for uniqueness, but you did something wrong, Sony. You went, you went too far. And whatever you, because I mean, it, it's driver. It's right there. It can't be. There's no DSP correction in the headphone. It's not weird. It's not funky shapes. It's not like it's. Oh my God! It's got poodle blood in it. By the way, do not try to put poodle blood in a headphone. Sell it to me. I will report you to the police. This is a Simpsons track. Cletus the Slack Jawed Yokel, right? And it's got like banjo music and there's like a thump and bass and the bass is okay. It's not even that great. It's just acceptable good bass. But then there's like they're singing and it sounds like they're out of phase and behind me. And they're not. You, you want me to switch back to the snot cable? Fine. You, the Zeos has got to be testing with the wrong cable. Shut off the uh, Italian pizza oven. I will legitimately, ready? You ready? Oh my god. They don't need to have this, but they have it. I'm sold. You know what I haven't tried? Fucking tubes. Let's give the tubes a click. Click. Okay. While we're waiting for those to warm up, back to just straight up, $1,100 RME DAC. And I can tell you right now, from going from balance to this, it's just everything is flatter. Not the good kind of flat. And I think, oh, I can I can master with these. Just things that were are just a little bit less exciting. Hey, Brandine. Oh my God, the low end. Okay, this is um from the Grand Budapest Hotel. This is track twenty-seven. Uh, Canto at uh, Gable Meister's Peak and right around the one minute mark is just the best representation of what low end in a headphone should be that has ever been. Grand Budapest Hotel, if you haven't seen it, go watch it and then listen to this track. It's just, it's just the biggest drum, just boo, boo, boo. Wait for it.
See, this actually sounds pretty decent. This track, I'm fine with it. Probably because it's mostly low end. Moving on to something else. All right, Dio is not something to test with next. Sound effects, no. Meatloaf. I'd lie for you. So there's, so there's detail, and then there's no detail. There's treble, and there's too much treble, and you gotta lower it. There's no balance that makes these headphones work for me on any amplifier. And yes, 789's over there, stop looking at it. Wait, wait, wait! 9 Inch Nails, no you don't. That's angsty high school Zeos listening to that. But you know, it just, I don't, I don't enjoy these headphones at all. Even a modicum, even just a little, by the way, modicum is my new favorite word. Just, just, I just don't like them. I don't like you, Sony's. I have no reason to not like the Sony's. Sony's, love the Sony Z7's were just like, oh, you want closed back headphones with bass and good build quality and good sound stage. Sony Z7 Mark 1's. Sony Z7 Mark 2's, you want To be confused? I feel like I'm just being confused by them. I feel like they don't add anything to my life. I just, they're comfortable. They're really lightweight for a metal backed. Oh. I can never tell what Sony. Is it metal? Is it plastic? Give me your Japanese weird technology. It says Belgium in there. Manufactured by Sony Corp. EU importer limited 1935 Zavzden Belgium. Are these made in Belgium? That'd be a fucking weird trippy kink. It says Japan. It says Belgium. Where are you from? And then it says made in China. Oh, headphones made in Thailand. What? Headphones are made in Thailand. But then there's also Belgium and Japan. I don't know what to even believe anymore. I don't believe in anything anymore. It's just everything's gone. You're just dead to me, can opener. When I can't just blindly recommend Sony headphones, like they should, they should not be a complicated, like if I'm gonna go get macaroni and cheese, give me some macaroni and fucking cheese. All right, Sony, you were a beautiful, simple thing of mac and cheese. Now there's like sprigs and, and truffle, truffle dust with um, a melodic blaze. Glaze um, with pork fat rendered, and then it's boiled the pasta. But the pasta is boiled al dente. Then we bake the pasta. It's like, just give me mac and fucking cheese. I don't get it. I don't get these headphones. I don't like these headphones. I don't recommend these headphones. If you have them, I'm sorry. If you have them, and they don't sound like I'm describing. For the love of God, tell me in the comments. Maybe I'm crazy, or maybe I got a bad pair. Maybe this pair is just weird. All right? I'm 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 tired of listening to that. I'm so glad this is over with. Because they were the one headphone that I would take off this fucking line, got a fucking line out the door, and be like, ah, Sony's. I should just enjoy the Sony's. I should want to game in the Sony's. I should want to listen to music in the Sony's. I should want to listen to my own voice. I don't want to listen to my own voice with them. Now, I know I'm a narcissistic bastard. has to watch all my reviews four times to get all the links and everything, make sure everything's proper. But I don't even want to listen to my own voice with them. So, fuck it. Fuck them. Fuck it. And now we're done with this sound demo in the description. This was recorded on the Mark IV, so you should be able to get a little bit of what I'm talking about. If not, then the Mark IV is doing a great job at lying to you. Uh, Karen, hi Karen. You're in the description, um, along with, she's, her tits aren't that big. But wallpaper in the description, my Patreon, which didn't buy these, thankfully. I didn't waste the sort of money that they are. Did you click the link to see? I didn't, um, blow that sort of cash in them because it made would have made sense because i love the previous z7s and it would have been nice to have like a more expensive uh close back that's a little more fun than the like the ether c's it would have fit in my wall it would have totally fit on my wall you would have fit on my wall i'd rather have mono price retros than you that's fucked up that's fucked up sony you don't fucked up anyway links to these regardless of that links to maybe a couple other 
Uh, clothes backs that I like. The ESSs, those. Even the goddamn fucking Cooler Masters I'd rather have. But And her, and Patreon. Oh, the Patreon where I do sell things on the 1st or the 10th. Obviously, I didn't buy these, so I can't sell them. But uh, things will be there in the yard sales. And if you want to see these reviews early, that's $5. If you want to support me a little bit more, you get into a private Telegram chat where you get to basically bitch at me all day about anything you want with a bunch of other people. So that's fun. I enjoy those. I enjoy their company. People who have $10 a month to waste on me tend to be nice people. And you'll also, what else? See my things and whatever. Karen. Ding, ding. I'm just, I'm just so, I'm so done with you. I'm so done with you. Anyway, goodbye. Thank you. Next time or tomorrow. <laughs>